Tonight, we have a Fox 5 I-Team exclusive. Innocent Georgians wind up in jail for weeks because a field test for drugs comes back positive. But ultimately, it wound up being wrong. Yeah, law enforcement agencies across the state routinely use these test kits as part of their initial investigation when they suspect someone has drugs. Now, Fox 5 I-Team reporter Randy Travis shows us how this could happen. Randy? Yeah, our residents today just listen to this. Vitamins, breath mints, cotton candy. Just some of the things we discovered that ultimately led to an arrest because they wrongly tested positive for drugs. Is the problem the field tests themselves or the people doing the testing? Is there anything illegal in the car? Is there any marijuana in the car? On their way home from a rare dinner out last October, Simon Kofi and his wife Clarice are stopped by a adorable police officer. He's not happy with a plastic cover over their license plate. He also believes he smells a, quote, little odor of marijuana. And if I don't find anything, you guys will be on your way, okay? Okay. If I do find something, somebody's going to jail tonight. Someone did go to jail, but just like dozens of others across the country, it wasn't because they had something illegal. A field drug test wrongly said they did. I know I'm innocent, so whatever that is going to come, I know I'm innocent. Simon and Clarice are trying to have a baby. Last October, she was taking a popular vitamin, folic acid, in hopes of improving their chances. She says she divided up the tablets and put half in a baggie so she wouldn't forget to also take them at work. Doraville police found that bag in their glove compartment and immediately put the couple in cuffs believing they were trafficking ecstasy. It does look like exo, and there's no markings on it. She says it's folic acid. She bought it at Walmart. She split, put the half on here and half at the bottle at the house for when she's at work. With no markings? I don't know. Uh, do even vitamins have some kind of markings? Yeah, Actually, vitamins often do not have any markings. To check their hunch, Dorval police did a quick field test on those white tablets yeah, awesome. using a $2 disposable kit like this. According to their report, the white tablets tested positive for ecstasy. What are you thinking during all this? We thought we were watching a movie <laughs> and we knew that this is folic acid. Yeah, come on, vitamins. The couple wound up in the DeKalb County Jail for two weeks until their public defender could convince a judge to release them on a signature bond. I kept crying all the time. We've never been to jail in our life, and being there was like a different world to me. By the time they got out, the damage had been done. Clarice's employer fired her for not showing up to work. Simon missed his swearing-in ceremony to become an American citizen. Five months later, the GBI crime lab released its own findings on those white tablets, negative for controlled substances. The case was dropped, charges dismissed. Do you think these tests are sending innocent people to jail? Yes. yes. And we're using ourselves as an example. Yes. The Fox 5i team asked the GBI crime lab for all negative drug test results from 2017. We then researched to see how many of those criminal cases began with a positive field test. We counted more than 30. A man with a breath mint, positive for crack. A woman insisted she had cotton candy, positive for meth. A teacher with headache powder, positive for cocaine. So are the tests themselves to blame or are cops just misreading the results? We gathered many of the household items that law enforcement officers wrongly determined tested positive for drugs. And we tested them ourselves. Pop the first ampule. We carefully followed the instructions for the NARC-2 test kit made by Searchy, the leading provider of police field tests and the one used in the Doraville case. Each test we conducted came back negative, the solution not matching the color on the package that would indicate drugs are present. Then we tested folic acid, the vitamin that Doraville police said was ecstasy. A positive reading would be dark blue or purple. Check out the color we got. Could be purple, could be red, but it's certainly not ecstasy. If it came back this color for Doraville police, and maybe it wasn't as well lit as our studio is right now, you might understand why they saw it as purple. In a statement to the Fox 5i team, Searchy would not address our questions about the possible color confusion. Our NARC presumptive drug tests are presumptive only. All samples should be sent to a crime lab for confirmation. Each box carries that same warning, there is no mandatory training in Georgia for police officers to use these field tests. Would you ever make an arrest based solely on a positive field test? If there's nothing but a field test, no. 
Philip Price has worked drugs since the 1970s and now heads up the Cherokee multi-agency narcotics squad. There's nothing that's 100 percent that I would you know, stake my life on and certainly wouldn't stake sending somebody to jail. It comes down to how a cop reads colors. A drug task force in South Georgia took these pictures of what agents claimed were positive field test results in two criminal cases. But the colors clearly don't match the one on the package that would indicate a positive reading. They said that's a positive test. Mm, yeah, I would say that that's not anywhere close to the right color. In these cases, agents did find other drug evidence at the scene, but it underscores just how subjective these field tests can be. As for Simon and Clarice, you might think life is back to normal now, but even dismissed charges will haunt you. When we ran a background check on Clarice, look what came up, drug trafficking. She says no full-time employer will hire her, all because of a bag of vitamins and a test some cops clearly trust way too much. We believe that America is an advanced country. This should not be happening. Dorval police would not talk on camera, but suggested part of the blame falls on Simon and Clarice for failing to keep their vitamins in the original container. That, by the way, is not against the law. Sinead. What? Okay, this is actually infuriating. What? What's the solution to it, though? Should they just stop using these kits? Well, I talked to some departments who say that uh, if the kit is the only evidence that they have, they don't make an arrest. They will send the results to the crime lab, and it may take five months, may take longer, right. but if the results come back and confirm what the field test shows, then they'll go out and find the person and arrest them. It's better to do it that way mm -hmm. than to run the risk of putting innocent people in jail. And we're gonna have more on this tomorrow night at 10, more innocent Georgians winding up in jail. One guy spent a month in the Fulton County Jail didn't have drugs. Well, th that's a terrible thing if it happens once. And Clarice ought to have her record completely clear. That's just not right. Well, it's it's been, uh, it's not expunged yet, but uh, it still shows up yeah. on a background check. So an employer is going to find that and they're going to say, sorry, we'll go look for somebody else. Yeah. Ugh, it's terrible. terrible. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Randy. Thanks, Randy.